Hello guys and welcome to Let's Play Project Ascension, the classless server season 2. This time on the Horde side and with updated character models as you can see. And after I finished my Let's Play from 1 to 60 and it was kinda grindy yet kinda boring at times on the Alliance side, this time around I would like to switch things up a little. This will be edited, this will be with new ideas for builds and everything. So I'm very much looking forward to this, especially since the release is probably still away like one to two months so we should have a lot of fun with this character and I invite you to join me on this and without further ado let's just start right away. The first thing when you start is you should allocate your talent points. I will put everything into intellect right now since Arcane Bolt is your best DPS spell early game and you will probably just use it for the first three levels so intellect is basically the only stat you need right now. Then you have also a lot of stuff in your bags and I would highly recommend you to just get rid of it. I will wear the worn short bore and I will also equip my rough arrows and the rest can pretty much go. You can think about going to one-handed weapons. I like the worn great sword since it's a very slow two-handed weapon and for sinister strike which is a very powerful ability early on this is just great. So I'm going to sell all of this, make some space in my bags and then you should be fine. So for the start the rotation is pretty straightforward, basically just 3 to 2 arcane bolts, maybe get in a quick shot in there and then, well, mob should be down already. In case you're wondering, those boars are not that big because it's wow ascension, oh, this is basically thanks to the new character patch and yeah, it is kind of an unwanted side effect to be honest, but other than that, like I think the character models are looking pretty great, I know it's always comes down to taste I guess and a lot of you might not like it that much but to be honest just because it's something different again I kinda like it and yeah besides those bugs right here with way too big boars that's about the only bug from this character patch and the rest I honestly enjoy quite a lot. I mean take this cute looking bunny for example but in all seriousness I can kinda understand why some people might think this is too goofy or too funny looking a bit too comical maybe and yeah I mean the walk alone is quite hysterical to be honest but yeah I mean the animations and also like the facial animations uh, the for me at least they look pretty okay and again it comes down to what you have seen for a long time and what is new so since this is something new again I really enjoy it quite a bit and there goes another level and with that we are also picking up a new skill for the first level I will go with the imp it's basically very cookie cutter I will admit that but it's yeah it's just straightforward one of the best skills you can get and that's even one that's useful later on as well but for now we will just go with that one I mean not much you can do wrong with with an imp it's a good companion has a nice dps early on and later it is quite okay for some synergies so yeah there we go true ham welcome to the team also don't forget to allocate your stats every time you level up I would always advise you to create a macro for your pet. Mine is cast arcane bolt slash pet attack. Basically means that while you're casting your arcane bolt your pet already attacks and with that the enemies won't even reach you. Otherwise the pet would just intervene after the first spell hits so it really helps out a lot and sometimes it won't even intervene at all if it's on defensive stance so having this macro helps you and increases your dps and it's overall quite useful. Should also pay attention to this hunger bar over here and the mid core realm and this is currently the mid core realm it's the only available one you should be able to keep it up with some just basic food to be honest doesn't matter what the level is just sit down from time to time and try to eat something because if this goes down you basically die also keep in mind there are no armor restrictions so you can basically wear everything from light to plate armor so always go for the heaviest one especially early on I mean later there might be some merit to going cloth armor if the stats are better for your current build but again for the early levels it's just way better to go for the heavy armor. I guess the new animations also don't look as sharp and are kind of blurry so yeah to get this discussion to an end I would be very interested to know what is your stance on this. Do you think it's okay to have this available? Do you think it just looks way too goofy? Like. Again, my stance is that sometimes switching things up a little can help out with your enjoyment of the game. But uh, yeah, would be interested to know. Like, please let me know in the comments down below what do you think of 
Character Patches and stuff along those lines. Okay, and we just stinked level 3, we obtained another ability essence, but as it was an original World of Warcraft, it's basically only possible to obtain skills every two levels, so every two ability essences you are able to pick something, at least for now, and that's why this is not really worth it in the sense of, yeah, we're getting new ability, but keep in mind, stat allocation is always a thing, so make sure to allocate your stats accordingly. Apparently they also got rid of the sprint talent, which is a bit sad, but understandable. I guess it was just too hard to balance out and also made the whole energy resource a bit hard to balance. I mean, there are also a lot of abilities that the archer sprint and they just got completely useless with that. And it also for PvP, it was a bit too broken. You were able to sprint away all the time and it kind of encouraged to not go for abilities that utilized energy since you kind of wanted to have it all the time for well, running away, so yeah, I can understand why it's gone. It was very convenient though, especially for early on when you don't have a mount or like a traveling ability, since yeah, you will be able to move at 30% increased movement speed, but those days are gone apparently. Okay, and we just dink to another level and this means another ability for us. Usually I would go for Sinister Strike at this point and I just checked there are not really that many other options to be honest like Sinister Strike is the cookie cutter build for the first few levels and it's really just very strong especially with two hand weapons but I guess since I would like to do a few things different I'm going to go for some sort of suboptimal build. Let's see, maybe it will work out, but I will go for the Seed of Righteousness first and then maybe go two one-handed weapons and we will see where we can go from there. Such a great quest. I guess what I like most about this is like with the old soundtracks or sound bits from those peons. It kinda takes it back to the old Warcraft 3 days. Do me trade? No. Me go face? The thing about spellcaster builds early on is, although they can be fun, you don't really find any equipment that has spell damage, spell power, and so it's very hard to scale and very hard to do something, especially in comparison to anything else, like any melee ability or any melee build. I kind of tried to balance this out by nerfing melee attack damage by 20%, but still, like for the early levels, it's really hard to do anything about it. And later on, it might change later when you actually get some equipment that has spell damage, then yeah, it actually kind of rules the battlegrounds. But until that point, until a few levels in, we probably will decide to just take some melee damage abilities. There's a slight delay on the server today, which is a bit unfortunate, but yeah, can't be helped. Probably will be fixed pretty soon. Even with the delay, it's quite nice to play on a low population server once again after playing for the last few weeks on Elysium since you actually can do quests without any issues and you don't have to fight for them that much. I guess that's a good comparison to the whole character model, new model kind of discussion because in the end I kind of like having the old vanilla kind of things and having to fight for mobs and having a really hard time even leveling or getting enemies or even being able to attack enemies. That can be really cool and can be really rewarding, have a feeling of yeah, I earned that kill and stuff like that. But after playing on servers like this for a certain amount of time, then to go on a server that's pretty easy to play and that isn't really that contested can also be quite relaxing. And again, it's about switching things up and it can get really refreshing. So I also appreciate approaches like this right here, like custom servers or just Wrath of the Lich King servers in general, because they tend to be much easier than well, the old vanilla experience, at least when it comes to grinding and leveling up. I mean, the main purpose of a game should be to make fun and it's very important, I think, to not forget that. Okay, I'm going to go for the primitive hatchet right here since it's an axe and we have some pretty nice racial abilities as a hawk and wing X expertise increased by 5 is one of them. So take this one right here and then we will see that we get another one that is like one-handed. I guess when the game started I should have kept another one-handed weapon and I kind of thought hey we would go for the sinister strike slow two-hand weapon kind of combination anyway. Well didn't think that quite through but we will obtain another one-handed weapon pretty soon. Good old burning blade Coven. This was basically slaughterhouse on the Elysium launch. The dynamic respawn on the day was basically merciless and probably the reason for a lot of people to just quit right away after playing for a few minutes. 
Looks like there will be a server restart, probably because of the lag issues, and let's hope that we'll fix it. Let's see if you can finish the Valor of Trials before the restart even occurs. Let's fight Jerrock Bane Shadow, and then we can just half stun out. I like to do this in this area. Also keep in mind that Quick Shot does not really take ammunition, but you still need to have some arrows equipped if you want to use it, or any ammunition of that kind for that matter. But of course if you take bullets then you also need a rifle instead of a bow. But yeah, let's get out of here and let's hand in the last final quests. The next few levels I would recommend you to allocate some stuff into stamina. I mean if you're going with two-handed slow weapon into Sinister Strike, you probably won't need it that often since, well, you pretty much kill everything in 3-2-4 hits. But yeah, other than that, getting a bit more tanky around this area, around this level range, never hurts. So next time we will explore Dorotor a bit further, we will try to level up a bit more, we will try to maybe aim already for a few builds that I have in mind, but yeah for now this is all a bit cookie cutter, I guess you have seen stuff a lot of the times already, sorry for that, but trust me, I hope this will get a bit more interesting and a bit different than anything we have done so far. So for now, thanks again very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this little let's play part. If you did, then a rating would be very much appreciated. Please let me know in the comments what did you think of this, and also like, please let me know what you think of dated character models, would be really interested to know. And other than that, I hope to see you soon guys, stay awesome and until next time, bye.